Hi guys, my name is Sarah and welcome to another episode of the three do's and three don'ts. In this episode, I challenged Molly of Molly's Artistry, the three do's and three don'ts challenge. And in return, what she does is challenge me back. So three do's and three don'ts means there's three things you are to do or use and there's three things that you cannot use. Um, so I'm going to read you off um, what Molly's do's and don'ts were for me and you'll have to head on over to Molly's channel to see what I challenged her. So here we go. Um, do use a balloon. So in my challenge Molly wants me to use a balloon which is a uh, a challenge for me. I've never done that before. So I'm really excited to get to work and see what I can create. The second thing is she said I had to use rainbow colors, uh, the color of the rainbow. So that that definitely is is up my alley. I love colors. So I'm going to have no problem with that. The third thing is my canvas has to be larger than a 20 by 20. So again, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. We'll have to see what I come up with um, in this challenge. Now to get to the don'ts. The don'ts are a little trickier. I'm not allowed to use and don't use, she says, white or black as my background. I must um, have a, I, I must, what, what is it? I'm sorry, don't, she doesn't want me to cover the whole canvas. She wants me to leave some negative space. And then she also says that I cannot do a straight pour. For those of you who watch my channel, that's mainly what I do is a straight pour. It's my style pour. I like to do that. I love the composition and sometimes the craziness about it. Um, so again, the don'ts are no straight pour. No, um, I'm not able to cover the whole canvas. I have to leave some type of negative space and I can't use black or white as my background color. So this is gonna be definitely a challenge for me in a sense, and I'm really looking forward to creating this piece for all you to see. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to be sure to see Molly's video also where she lists off the do's and don'ts that I gave her and uh, see what she creates. All right, let's get on the canvas here and throw some paint. Hello guys. All right, we're here down on the canvas. I actually started putting paint on here and I didn't mean to off camera, but you know, we'll do what we can. Um, the colors I'm using are Deco Arts Deep Sapphire as a base and negative space. And um, I'm also going to put in some Glacier Blue with some white. Um, they're metallic colors, I love metallics. So we're gonna start with that. And I've got my balloons ready and my colors. And as I go, um, I'll tell you the other colors that I'm using. Um, all my paints have been mixed with a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. Um, and then I added mainly, um, well, mostly water. So there, it's just a little bit of pouring medium with water. <clears throat> And what else? Yeah, so I'm excited to do this. It's definitely something different for me. Um, should be should be fun um, to do this style painting. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but when she gave me the uh, rules and my do's and don'ts, I sort of had something in mind from that point on. So, all right. We're gonna do this. I did add some anthroquinone blue to my deep sapphire base to darken it up a bit.
So I have Arteza's Prussian Green, and that is mixed with a little bit of their uh, Pearl Lime Green. So I put these two colors together, and I have this fabulous color. And then for my purple, which is right here, it's a beautiful, beautiful purple. And this color is uh, Porridge Posse Paint Morning Pansy Shimmer. And I added a little bit of the Decor Extreme Sheen Amethyst. For my orange, I have Orange Red by Arteza. And I added a little bit of Fire Opal to get a little bit of a shimmer in that as well. So that's quite fluid, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Um, I've never done balloon smashes, so this is, uh, is going to be interesting. All right, this is Cadmium Yellow Light Hue um, by Liquitex Basics with no added sparkle to it. And I have also Arteza's Bordeaux Red. Um, so we've got that all mixed up as well. And I think that's it. Um, for the blue, I might add some blue on here also. Um, I'm just not sure right now how I'm going to do that, mess or if I'm going to do that for that matter. Um, and we're gonna go from there. So I'm not using any black in this or any gold. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm really nervous. I don't know if my paint consistencies are at the right level I, because I've never done a balloon smash. So I'm sort of at the mercy of my guessing, I suppose. Yeah, all right, so I got a little balloon, sort of not fully blown up balloon, and then I have a larger one. I don't know which one I'm going to use first. Probably the larger, I'm thinking, because that'll be like a base or a background to the smaller ones. I've so, so all right. I'm gonna do yellow and I'm gonna come in with some red. I'm going backwards. Normally I think we go the opposite way, red, orange, yellow, and then I got some orange here. Oh good god. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's very cool. <laughs> it's not a very big one, so that's that's good. All right. And some purple. And then maybe some yellow, which we all know purple and yellow make brown. Should be interesting. And maybe a little bit of green. So remember these challenges um, that we're given, the do's and don'ts, it's to challenge us out of our comfort zone. And I am definitely outside of my comfort zone right now.
Let's see. <laughs> Okay, got a couple of these in here. We don't really need it, but we're going to put it there anyways. I'm just going to put it on the balloon now because <laughs> I feel like I'm making mud on the canvas. So, you know, my canvas is still, my base coat is wet. So I think that that's still, that's causing a little bit of problems, but... <clears throat> Hopefully, not too much, but I'm sure that, yikes, oh, it looks like a star, um, so yeah. All right, Molly, balloon smashes are not my thing, so don't judge. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm, like, so confused. <laughs> Trying to make it work. I liked my base, but... Um... We're just going to add more little lines. 
And I probably should have used the squeeze bottles I got, but I did not. I like those. Oh, good gosh. Looks like a hot mess to me, but we'll see how it dries. Right here, just a little you really don't need much clearly and then I'm going to add some of the orange maybe some of the yellow it's just doing its own thing over here now it's spreading out and maybe a little bit of white that was a lot Oh, I like that. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do. This is sort of cool. I don't mind the little extra drippies in here. It sort of adds to the piece because um, it needs a whole lot of something. So we're going to see how <laughs> how oh, this dries. Um, and I don't foresee balloon smashes in my future. Molly, you really got me on this one. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. It looks neat. It's fun. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that is it. Maybe I'll add some blue drizzles too. Pulling down. And uh, yeah, so we are going to bring you guys in. Okay, here we are. My little balloon smashes. Um, we're going to see how this dries. Uh, but I actually really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely different for me. Thank you so much for the challenge, Molly. Uh, be sure to check out all the three do's and three don'ts by Rinska, Fiona, Molly. Um, I know that Karen and I think Jen Neal will be doing them too, but we'll, we'll see. And uh, next up, um, we'll see the dried results. Thanks for joining me. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I wanted to show you the dried results of my first ever balloon smash. And I have to say, I studied Molly's video compilation of balloon smashes a lot. I watched it a few times just so that I can see exactly what her style was and what I enjoyed um, most about them. And honestly, it was more of a challenge than I thought it would be. And if I was to go back and change anything, it would definitely be to let my base or background blended colors, um, let them dry because I, I definitely think that's a requirement for me. Um, I've seen many people do balloon smashes or balloon rolls, um, but I've never tried them successfully, um, at all. So I'm sort of pleased Actually, I'm really pleased with my uh, results. So here they are. All right, here we go. So I'm super excited. I love the blended background. Um, and as, as you can tell from where I'm talking about it, I wonder if I can get it on camera, but this area here, um, my background was still wet. So naturally, not as wet as, as when I originally painted it, but it was wet enough that it lifted with the balloon as I pushed it down. But again, I'm a beginner. It was my first try. Um, and uh, I like it. I like it. I might try it again. I mean, I'm really excited. And, and the other thing that I would do differently is definitely put my colors in a squeeze bottle if I want to do trails. 
these little lines here and I just used the um, little stir stick as you saw, but definitely room for improvement, um, but not bad for my first try. I really thank you, Molly, for, for challenging me and I'm really looking forward to my next challenger, who I will tell you now, she has agreed to do it. Drum roll, please. Olga of Smart Art. She and I are gonna be doing the next do's and don'ts later this month. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited. Not quite sure what she's gonna challenge me to do. I have to think about my do's and don'ts for this one, um, but I will announce it in my next video and go from there. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter, if it's something that you celebrate. I hope you have a wonderful day with your family. Bye.